now that over the last couple of weeks it's going to be a bit wet up there. So, uh, especially a couple of bit more technical bits in there, but it's not going to stop you. Eh? So just take your time for it. Hello and welcome to another adventure. So back in Wales, back for another race. And uh, well, we've got some very Welsh weather today. Um, it's gonna be a wet one. So um, scrutineering's just open. So got, there's John there, look now, just off to, um, to do his scrutineering. So scrutineering's open now. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna take the bike down in a second, just do my last minute bits of prep before we go. I don't think there's a part Fermé. Sometimes they make you leave the bike in an area until the start of the race, but I don't think they're going to do that today so I can, you know, keep tinkering with a bike. Um, yeah, so we're just, just going to go down in a second and get ready. So I've put my numbers on. Um, <clears throat> we've got three numbers this time, so one at the front and one each side. And um, I'm just... Uh, I say just doing last minute bit of prep, just about to fill my camel back up. So it's it's fairly cold and you know, but you still need some fluids. So this is Mike's top one of Mike's top tips. So I'm gonna put some of this in here, a few scoops that, which is energy drink. And that's just what's called maltodextrin. And maltodextrin is the basically the energy ingredient that they put in sports drinks. But you can buy a massive bag of it for peanuts from my protein. And it's just exactly the same thing, and then you can just add a bit of squash to it to give it some flavour. But it's cheap as chips, so that's Mike's top tip, maltodextrin. So I'm just going to fill the camel back up. Um, got some nice new tyres on for this. So I've come around here, you might see them better. So these are the Mitus XT754s. Great tyres, uh, really knobbly, going to give me loads of grip, road legal. And then on the front I've got the Mitus... C19, which again, road legal. All your tyres for this race have to be road legal. So, yeah, a few more going down now. Getting ready. It's going to be a wet one. So, we're going to probably put four waterproofs on today. Well, there's forecast better for Sunday, but for today it's looking pretty grim. So just gonna come back and have my breakfast in a minute, just charging up my GoPros ready uh, and things like my watch. So my watch is a, a GPS watch just so I can record the route and it will tell me where I am if ever there's any dramas. Oh and I'm trying this for this race. Uh, so this is my uh, giant loop, just little handlebar bag, I forget what it's called. So like just in there I've got my time card sheets, a Mars bar, um, might put another couple of bits of food in there so yeah so I've got that and I'm different setup trying a different setup with the camera so I'm gonna have a GoPro here looking at me and then another GoPro on here which will be facing forward uh, that's the GoPro over there that's charging so it should make editing a bit easier for me because I won't have to do the old 360 editing right well I suppose I ought to go and get my uh, signing on done and uh, then come back and sort the rest of my life out. Catch you in a bit. Right, okay, so scrutineering's done. Part of the uh, day all sorted. So I'm just. Um, <coughs> Just getting on with the final bits of prep. Oh, I'm just going to make a brew. Let's stick that in there. Oh, I've got to have plenty of fresh coffee. So, just um, sorting out my food that I'm going to take for the day. So, the main thing I like to eat normally is malt loaf because I just find it so easy to eat. I've got, I haven't got to make it, do anything with it. I can just shove one of them in my bag. It's really good trail food, it's good for energy, 
um, I used to cycle mile upon mile with just malt loaf in my back pocket. So love malt loaf. And these things here I've been getting from Aldi lately, just absolute. <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's a secret weapon. They're called uh, Jammy Jacks and it's flapjack with jam in it. I mean, why has no one come up with that sooner? I don't know, delicious. So I'll chuck a few of them in a bag and I'll have maybe some of them in the handlebars just to sort of nibble on. Um, so I think one of the big problems today is gonna to be goggles. So um, I'm gonna wear these while I'm riding, just a standard set of goggles. And then I'm gonna have my rip and rolls in my bag and then before the specials, I'll just whack the goggles on and uh, swap them over so I've got clean goggles and then at the end take them off. Uh, so I've got another sort of cloth in my bag and then what I like to carry is a bit of chamois. So that's real leather chamois and I keep that in the pocket and then when you're riding you can keep cleaning your goggles off. And the good thing about chamois is that it works when, well when it's wet. So obviously you would use chamois to chamois your car down after you've cleaned it. So. I mean, I, it's what I use for work, for like cleaning my, cam my camera lenses. So, um, yeah, top tip, a bit of chamois in your pocket. Hey, go goggles are going to be the thing today. I did think about sticking an extra bit on my peak here just to give me a bit more protection, but there's not going to be too much roost, I don't think. Um, yeah, so, get in there, just got to do the camel back. Uh, last few bits to sort out all oh, coffee. Oh, and a bit more water in that. You've got to have fresh coffee. Oh, that would be lovely. So I just finished doing that. Sort out my food, and then I need to take my fuel down to the um, refueling point. So at any point during the uh, the three laps, well, I suppose you're only either going to do it at the end of lap one or end of lap two. You can go to the fueling point and get fuel, which is just down there. So I've just got to go and drop that off the fuel, and um, and then I've got the fuel. I mean, I've, my tank's right to the top. Average riding, I can do 150 mile on that, but it's about a bit less than 120 miles today. So um, at times you're going to be racing full chat, so you will get. Through. I'll be lucky I think to do a hundred miles so I am gonna need a little bit of fuel but um, yeah I'll drop that off in a minute right okay so I'm gonna have my coffee first and I'll catch up with you in a bit so something I'm trying out today well not for the first time but it'll be the first wrong long ride so I'm just getting my gear here that I'm gonna wear um, so I'm kind of basically going as if it's fairly decent weather so I've got my um, waterproof socks knee pads and all that normal stuff but because I'm gonna put my waterproof jacket and trousers on I think I'll be plenty warm enough um, but I'm trying these out on the first sort of long ride today which are these shorts called motor skivvies so they're basically just um, they're like cycling shorts I guess uh, and they've got padding in them but the padding is specific to sort of enduro and adventure bikes. Um, now I've got dozens of pairs of cycling shorts because I do a bit of cycling. And cycling shorts often just don't work, they don't help. I've worn these on a shorter ride and I thought they were really good. Um, so we'll see, I mean, because it's going to be like over 120 miles today. So, well, uh, uh, you know, a bit less than 120 miles. So. At the end, I'll be able to report back. The only thing I'm just a bit concerned about is, because it's so wet, if you get a wet arse, then this sponge soaks up all the water, and, um, well, you're in for a hell of a lot of ring sting later in the day. But um, <laughs> hopefully that's not gonna happen because I've got waterproof trousers on. But we'll see how we get on anyway. Um, can but try, so they're motor skivvies. Also what I've uh, done, so I've got new chain and sprocket on and uh, so I'm trying a 48 tooth sprocket so I was on a 50 the stock bike came with 51 rear chain ring a uh, rear ring uh, so that was on a 50 and I just felt that first gear was too steep you climb a tree with it hardly ever used it and then in the technical sections it just made the bike a bit jerky so um, so it's standard which is I think is a 13 front sprocket uh, so standard front 
sprocket and then rear one now is is a 48 so we'll see how we get on with that only consequence of that is is it lengthens the swing arm slightly because it just means because of how it just falls with the links you just end up with the um, the adjuster right at the back and I don't think that's going to make too much difference to the sort of hack the characteristics of the bike and how it turns anyway right gonna get changed now because we've got a rider briefing in a second so I best get my acting gear
so I'm just going to quickly clean my, clean my goggles because it doesn't look like it's going to move anytime soon. Just hit that rain shower. Perfectly at the wrong point. Right, here we go. Looks like it's moving now. Yeah, I got it quite easy earlier, um, but there's been obviously quite a few people go down it since this morning, so... I think now stinged up. Yeah, you'd be alright. <laughs> because I couldn't see I but um, yeah the, the trick with them is just to keep the momentum going
Well, that's the end of uh, day one. Everyone's, well, those that are, are heading off now. Okay, so. There's the route, so it was three laps of that one circuit. Um, so not quite, well, I didn't start it right at the very beginning, so it, but um, yeah, essentially, so about 110 miles it would have been probably <laughs> and we were doing each lap of the three laps me and Gilly were doing them in about an hour and 10 hour 15 so the bike as ever performed brilliantly that Midas 754 was pretty good uh, I had a few moments with the C19 just on the wet rocks but I don't know if anything would have worked really well on those wet rocks. Uh, so this is the real disaster. I've lost my GoPro and that's my better new one. Uh, and I had a little off towards the end of the second test. So I've just got to straighten that up. What else can I tell you? I mean, I am absolutely beat. I'm absolutely knackered. So the motors give you shorts. They work really well. Um, these army issue waterproofs, bloody brilliant. They're not a lot of money. I've been bone dry all day. It, weather's been awful. It's absolutely chucked it down at times. Deep puddles, just horrendously bad. Um, but so my arse didn't get too wet, and those motor skivvy shorts were really, really good. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with them, so um, I'll maybe do a review on them in a, once I've done a couple more long rides. Goggles, yet again, I had issues with my goggles. Uh, so I rode a lot in my glasses, but because you're on your own, because you tend to ride on your own a lot at these events, um, it's not a problem, unlike at the Valley Light where I got roosted. So, yeah, that wasn't too much of an issue. So I'm just drying my kit out now, so I'm going to dry my boots out as best I can. Sort my bike out, clean it off once it's dried a bit, everything will clean off a bit easier. Um, and then I'm going to make some tea. I've got a boil in the bag, I think, or maybe... No, I have, I've got chicken curry boil in the bag. Yeah, from Go Outdoors. Yeah, so it, it was a tough day. I, I'm going to have to put my hand up and say I am absolutely knackered. Um, so I'm just going to sit here with my tea and a brew and I'll, <laughs> I'll probably be in my bed by no later than eight. And um, I think it's nine o'clock we set off tomorrow. So um, yeah, but it has been so much fun. So, so much fun. Great course. It was pretty technical today, so Brecher is definitely not the, the rally to come to for your first one. Um, John, who's in our little clique, he, um, he's had a hell of a day because he's not been riding long and he found it pretty tricky. So, and I'm not surprised. Um, <laughs> and I'm feeling today I need to sort out my fitness. You've got to be so fit to do these events and do them well. Normally that's the difference between me and Gilly. Um, is, is I'm a little bit fitter than Gilly, but Gilly's comprehensively beat me today because my fitness is just um, non-existent. So that's obviously something I need to work on. But um, So it's been an amazing day, an amazing day with your mates riding trails, shooting shit, talking about bikes, um, talking about kit, uh, and doing a, some riding, you know, that some might call racing, but maybe it's a better to call it just a mass participation event. And I'm just so glad I'm here. I'm so glad I'm taking part. And I'm so glad I'm continuing to learn as a rider, you know, new skills, new techniques, um, you know, new things that, means that I'm more comfortable on the bike like the shorts or sorting out issues with goggles you just learn so much coming to these sorts of things and it's been an absolute blast I've loved today but I am knackered so
right, so there it is. Racing done. The mud is starting to dry and the muscles are well and truly aching now. But it's been absolutely brilliant. I mean, I'm utterly exhausted. Last night I got in bed at half past six. I was bruised and beaten. Gilly had ridden so much better than me. He'd beat me in both the tests. Um, but I was buzzing and um, I loved it. Uh, today I rode a little bit better in the first test, but then in the second test, oh, a little bit of a mistake and I lost traction and I, anyway, but brilliant, just brilliant. Bike performed amazing as ever. You know how much I love this bike and um, so no issues with the bike. The only problems I had was the rider. Um, I did break the little plastic screen thing on the top of my um, of the adventure spec fairing that I stick on there, uh, but I, I don't know how, even how I did that. So uh, I don't know if some roost hit it and smashed it or what, but um, yeah, so the bike was brilliant. I mean, that this this has been awesome. This little thingy. Um, Gilly's like, I'm gonna have to get one of them. So that little giant loop bag, because it was handy just for keeping, um, keeping the little, your little cloths in and, uh, you know, and all the little bits and pieces like that. So, um, come on camera, catch up. Yeah, so it's been just an absolutely blast of a weekend. Well, what I want you to take away from this is, these events, although we say it's racing, they're just a mass participation event. And there's people of all abilities in on all sorts of bikes. There's people on Vinjuro bikes. There's people on the latest Shercos. There's people on rally bikes. There's, you name it, they're here. You know, some amazingly gifted and talented riders. But there's also some average riders like me who just come for a bit of a blast, have a bit of a race off with a mate and, and ride some just amazing trails and meet amazing people. Um, you always meet new people in the paddock and you get talking and, and I love that. So just remember this is, it is a race, but really it's a mass participation event and it's just about taking part and having a blast. So anyway, enough on that. I'm going to go home now, <laughs> take a steady drive back to Suffolk and um, uh, and thankfully I've not got to go to work tomorrow morning so I can de gunge everything because everything is absolutely filthy. Uh, but there you go. So um, but, uh, we'll get it ready for the next one. Thankfully the, we've got a bit of a wait now till the next round of the British Champs. It's not until July I think, the Beacons. So uh, look forward to that. Uh, hopefully weather will be a bit drier but today was much better actually because um, it didn't rain so not so many issues with the goggles and uh, the track had deteriorated quite a lot but um, it was much better I really enjoyed it today and um, yeah okay so thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video um, if you've got any questions just stick them in there you know you want to ask me about bits of kit or whatever St stick them in the comments you know or someone else might answer someone else might have an idea you know let's share the love so if you've got a question stick it in the question in the comments below um hopefully oh, someone's going to find my gopro that i lost so you'll see all the footage but all you lost was footage of me anyway so if, if there's no footage of me riding the bike then we didn't find the gopro um yeah so thanks for watching hopefully see you again back on the channel soon for another adventure or failing that hopefully i'll see you out on the trail riding your bike